Hello and welcome to the first episode of our Pokemon Kaizo Emerald playthrough. This game has rose popularity as being called one of the hardest Pokemon games in existence, which is absolutely wild. I have purposely left this under the radar, I've not seen anything about this game, but I have read the information on the download page about this game so that I know a little bit about what we might be jumping into and what makes it kind of good. So, this game, Pokemon Emerald, obviously, has all 386 Pokemon available to be caught. There's nothing left out, but there's no extra generations added in to make it weird. Like, you're not going to pop into a Garchomp, for example. Uh, there is also not a physical special split, which is strange. I find that very strange. Normally, games that get very popular have a physical special split, so you don't get stuck using a special bite attack. You know, that kind of sucks normally. But this game's left it in. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure whether that's part of the difficulty, as it can be kind of annoying, but that does mean that certain Pokémon are definitely going to be stronger than others. For example, if you have a strong special attack and psychic type compared to a strong, you know, physical attack and psychic type, for example, I mean, the special attacking one is clearly going to be better, even if you're using Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut will be special, which is kind of weird. It's kind of weird that they've done that. But also, it's fine, I guess. As to the challenge, sure. There's also not any fairy types, obviously, as we're running with only the first gen of the first three gens of Pokemon. Fairy types obviously came out in Gen 6. And there is apparently a whole bunch of moveset changes. Now I don't know exactly what they mean by moveset changes. I don't know how much they mean by moveset changes. I don't know if that means that I'm gonna go into an ex a, a wormhole of explosion on the first route. That could happen! That could genuinely happen, and that's terrifying, but I really hope it doesn't. But apparently 350-ish of the 386 Pokemon have had moveset changes. That's a large percentage of Pokemon to have some moveset changes. So the game's gonna start off kind of similarly to Pokemon Emerald, as I did have to test the game and make sure that I was running the right um, Pokemon game, as when I first started I was like, this is really different. But there is different uh, layouts of maps, like they're in the first town, there is going to be a little patch of grass with some pretty random Pokemon in it. So while the game starts off kind of similar, I imagine it's going to get real weird real quick. But the time is roughly, actually, hold on, it's more like that because I can't keep track of time. There we go. Our clock is set. We are good to go into our adventure. The first thing we're going to do is check if there is a potion on the desk. Now I've heard that you can't use items in battle, which I guess is fine, I suppose. Could be a little bit rough not having that crucial full restore in your time of need, but also, if they allowed full restores, it would kind of trivialize the game. Just a little bit. So I guess I get it. I kind of like it. Um, it's just a little bit rough. Especially in the early game when you can't just, you know, just slap on a potion when you've still got your weak Pokemon. It's going to be a tough time. It's gonna definitely be a tough time. So, no items in battles, lots of moveset changes, game is meant to be hard, basically. There's also gonna be some pretty random Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. When I tested, there was a Nubble in Old Ale Town. So, uh, that was as far as I got. I got to a Nubble in Old Ale Town, I was like, yep, I'm playing guys of Emerald, alright, time to start recording. <laughs> so, starting off as a normal Pokemon Emerald, let's go ahead and get into this. My question of the day is I'm going to do this for as long as I remember, which will probably be a grand total of around three episodes, but let's go with it for the time being, is have you ever played Kaizo Emerald yourself? I'm very curious to see how many people have actually played this game, compared to how many people have heard about it, compared to how many people have never heard about it at all and are just excited to see it play through. I kind of want to see the whole, the whole demographic, I guess, of what people know about this game and what people don't know about this game. So let's go ahead, get ourselves our starters up in here, which are normal starters. They're normal starters. And I've given this a little bit of thought. And my thought process is as follows. Trico. It's a cool looking Pokemon. Objectively, a grass type is probably gonna suck, right? It's gonna maybe be good against like the first gym and then it's going to struggle for the rest of the game until like the very last gym where we could easily have a different grass type that may be better. That's my, my thought process on Trico. Uh, Mudkip is objectively the best Pokemon, actually. Being water and ground type, 
I think it's probably the safest Pokemon to go with, as it only has one weakness being Grass. However, this game is called the hardest Pokemon game by a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people picked up the Mudkip going, haha, this game's hard, I'll just roll them with Swamper and use Mudshot a lot when I get my Marsh Top and Earthquake things. And then they got caught out by being hit by a random Grass type move. You know, you just have to have one Pokemon with like a hidden power grass on a team or an energy ball that you don't expect, and that Pokemon's out of the fight, because you can't use revives or anything like that in battle. So my thought process is Torchic may be the best. But I'm gonna roll with Torchic, and we're gonna see how this goes. That's my thought process. I think Torchic's gonna be good, because fire types are rarer than war types in general. Grass types suck in general compared to others. I think Torchic is the way to go. We will see. Is this a sand attacking level 2 Zigzagoon? We have speed boost? That's crazy. I feel like I have made the right decision. I like my decision. My decision? You know what? Sure. Sure. I'm not gonna lie. When I played through this game before, I used a Torchic. Right? Obviously I said I went to Old Ale Town just to test I was on the right thing. I did not get speed boost. I will take a speed boost. Also, this thing has a berry juice. This level 2 Zigzagoon is putting up a fight right now. I do not want to lose to a level 2 Zigzagoon, thank you game. Please land one more scratch after this. Swift! Okay. 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 A little bit rough. Don't swift. Don't swift. Don't. Okay. You know what? I take it back. Use swift. I take it back. Just use Swift, or just use Sand Attack, one or the other. Don't swap between- okay, we're fine, we're fine. We beat the level 2 Zigzagoon, that's it, right? We won the game, right? That's- that's- hard game. It was a real hard game, honestly, there was some close calls. That miss, but I think we've done it, right? We've won the game. I can stop now, I can be safe. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. My other games have all gone so well, and I feel like this game is just gonna roll me. The only other time I can think that I really got rolled was like Pokemon Vega. That was the last game I can think of that I played that was a really rough, really difficult game. Um, but we have ourselves a Torchic right here. I am going to name this powerful Torchic something very powerful that begins with T to remember it, and that is going to be Tobias. What a powerful name. What a powerful name for a Torchic. Little known fact about all people named Tobias, they can actually spew fire from their mouths, and they are also half chicken. Fun fact, if you know what to buy us, make sure to tell them that. It's true, it's true. But with that, we are good to go and brave the big wide world outside of Little Root. I'm a little afraid of the big wide world outside of Little Root, I'll be honest. I have seen uh, very minimal chat map changes, uh, like little walkways that you can go through so you don't have to keep battling wild Pokemon. However, I kind of want to battle wild Pokemon because I haven't really seen much of what the wild Pokemon have to offer. We have Ordinary Whirlpool. Okay. I, are you gonna explode? I said it before. I said those moves, moves that changes. My first prediction was an exploding Whirlpool. String shot. Okay. Okay. You're gonna slow me down to make sure I can't get out of the explosion radius. I'm watching you, Whirlpool. I'm watching you. I'm fearful of what you might do. Don't explode. Tackle. Okay. Okay. We can survive a tackle. We're just gonna keep boosting our speed and negating the string shot, honestly, which is kind of nice but we take out the Wurmple. I imagine what they mean by moveset changes is there are certain Pokemon that kind of suck because they don't really get good moves. Like, it's hard to give an example off the top of my head, but there are always like some rough Pokemon, like electric types, for example, not getting any real good coverage. I imagine there's gonna be some moveset changes so electric types have some crazy coverage or something. So Watson's gym will be really rough. I imagine there's going to be some things like these Wurmples, for example. They might get Bug Bite a little earlier, so when you encounter a certain Bug Trainer, he has a certain move that makes him a little bit scarier than often. Just little things like that that start to add up on the journey, and by the end of the game, you're just fighting some really rough stuff. Because I've heard that there's not exactly any, any huge level gain. A lot of games will quite often jump the level quite a lot, and they'll be pretty rough and go like, you know, this last gym, sure, you're gonna fight like a level 35, and then the next gym might be like level 50, when you've only gained like maybe six or seven levels across your team, and then you're very underleveled. That can suck. 
But apparently this game doesn't do that. Apparently it also, from what I'm reading on the site, because I have it up at the side just to make sure I'm not saying anything stupid, um, apparently they have a rare candy shop. I don't know when that when that appears, because there's not rare candies in there now, but apparently there's a rare candy shop. There's also this little patch of grass here in Old Ale Town, which makes me very curious as to what's here. Slugma! Okay, okay, so fire types. Two fire types. Makes me kind of regret choosing Torchic, but also at the same time I have speed boost, so I don't really regret it. I'm kind of happy that we have speed boost. Cyndaquil as well? Oh. Oh, so I messed up, huh? That's just gonna- is this just where every fire type is located in the game? They just shoved them all into these two spots in the back of Oldale Town and told no one about them? This is where the fire types live. Do not disturb them. On the one hand, speed boost. On the other hand, I really like Cyndaquil. I guess there's nothing saying I can't just catch a Cyndaquil. We could have a Cyndaquil. We might not use it that much, but we could have a Cyndaquil for the time being in the early game, I guess. What else do we have here? I've seen Numble, because I saw it before. I've seen Slugma, and I've seen Cyndaquil. What else do we have here? Is it just those three? Slugma, okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to bop the Slugma. My thought process is I want to be level six before the next fight, as I imagine May is going to be... Mmm, I don't want to mess with Yawn, actually. You know, I'm going to run away. Let's not play the Yawn game. Wait, Yawn is one turn sleep? Wait. Oh, no. So Yawn is... Isn't Yawn 100% accurate? I'm not mistaken in thinking Yawn is 100% accurate with now a one turn sleep. That would be... That'd be crazy, right, if that was the case? <laughs> Hold on while I Google every Pokemon that can learn Yawn in known existence. <laughs> That's gonna be my game plan. Just Yawn everything. That was strange. But we'll go with that there's fire types there. We'll see what's on Route 103 as well, I guess. See if there's anything up here that maybe catches our eye. That's a little bit strange, and maybe not normally here. Like Sunkern, for example. Why is Sunkern here? Can someone please explain to me why they decided to add a Sunkern here? Actually, actually, you know what? It makes sense. The weakest Pokemon has to be put in the very, very beginning of the game. Because it's the weakest Pokemon. I get it. I get why it's here. It's just a dumb Pokemon. I don't like Sunkern. It's not my least favorite Pokemon. That gets the, the grand glory of being Parasect, I think. But it's up there. It's definitely up there. It's not a Pokemon I like. Uh, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb and weak. Your weak seed. Sun 4? Sun 4 is fine. Sunkern? Dumb. But it is potentially some good XP. I don't know how much XP a Sunkern normally gives. As I feel like in the earlier games, you got more XP based on how much HP the Pokemon had. Maybe I just thought that because of Chansey giving a ton of XP and Ordino, and they're pretty pretty high HP Pokemon, but I've always thought that the higher HP, the more XP. Probably not how it works at all, but that's how my brain works. Another Sunkern. Okay, okay. We can body another Sunkern. We can hit level 6, and we can go into the fight against Mei, who may or may not have water gun. If she has water gun already, then then that'll be rough because we don't even have pokeballs. I was gonna say then I'd pick up a Sunkern, but actually, you know what? We don't have pokeballs available to us until the first fight is over. Meaning we might be in a little bit of a rough situation if she's a higher level than I thought. We do have speed boost though, so we're definitely gonna outspeed the Mudkip. I don't think that was the biggest issue though. I think we'd have outsped anyway. It's going to come down to two things. Does she have War Gun and does she have a Berry Juice? If the level 2 Zigzagoon you fight to save Birch had a Berry Juice, why wouldn't the Mudkip? That's my thought on it. That's my thought. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Uh, I didn't even check our nature, actually. What nature do we have on this Torchic? I just sort of saw Speed Boost and was like, yeah, that's fun. But we didn't check nature. Let's see. Bashful nature. Neutral. I'll take neutral. Neutral is fine. Neutral is absolutely fine. One thing I will probably do when I catch new Pokemon 
is if they are like a really bad nature, say I get like an adamant Cyndaquil, if I ever decide to catch a Cyndaquil, it's just an example, but say I catch an adamant Cyndaquil, it's probably going to be boxed or trashed, right? That's just not something I think we're going to be able to use. If this game is as difficult as people say, and you know, all of the gym battles are 6v6 and stuff, I don't think having an adamant Cyndaquil is going to be too helpful. I think we want the best team possible, and I think we're going to try and catch some good Pokémon. We will see. For now though, let's go ahead and take these lovely, like, little cutout walkways. Because there's these cutout walkways all the way up to May, I feel like May is going to body us, but we will see. There's no way they didn't make it so you can avoid all of the encounters on the route back to her, unless they're expecting you to get just completely bopped in the first fight, right? I'm scared. I'm scared. What do you have? One Pokemon. That's a good sign. Mudkip level 5. That's a good sign. It definitely shouldn't, you were being shouldn't, have Water Gun yet. It shouldn't. That did very little damage. That did very much damage, actually. Um, I think we're both gonna get like a 5 hit KO. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, this is too close. Oh, I don't enjoy this. Oh, no. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Scratch can't miss. We're fine. We're fine. See, it's a very good thing. We went to level 6. 69 XP. Nice. Very nice. There we go. Wow, that's great, Carlos. You're pretty good. Thank you. It's appreciated. I won my first match. There we go. There we go, no losses yet. I won't be saying that for long, but while I can still say it, I'm gonna enjoy it. Let, let me say it one more time. No fainted Pokemon, no losses. We are fine, no whiteouts. Everything is okay at the moment. Until the next fight. <laughs> Probably. We're gonna go to the next fight, he's gonna just send out his like level 10 Rayquaza. Oh God. Although from what I've heard, there's not really too many legendaries? I haven't heard that. I'm making that up. And when I say what I've heard, I mean what I've read on the download page, just so everyone's aware. I haven't actually heard anything about this game. I've just read the page. I'm scared. I'm scared of what this game is going to do to me. At the moment, I'm trying to stay like really upbeat and positive. By the end of this, I'm going to be a mess, okay? I'm going to be like, like leaning back in my chair, depressed that all of my Pokemon keep dying, trying to brute force my way through like, Moss Deep Gym is the gym that comes to mind, especially after the Mega Emerald X and Y playthrough we just had against the two Mega Mewtwo's. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm confident at the moment. I feel like it's gonna dwindle as we go. We'll see, we'll see. For now though, we have our Pokedex. We have Pokeballs. We are not doing a Nuzlocke. The Nuzlocke has not begun. We are not doing a Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke's are scary. I've heard that it's impossible. We're going with it. So with that, do we get our running shoes? We should get our running shoes. Okay, that's good. We're gonna grab our running shoes, and we are gonna really consider whether we want to catch anything straight away. I mean, we've seen Wormpole. I don't think Wormpole is worth catching. Yeah, it evolves early. That's great. But at the same time, what are we gonna get? Like a Beautifly or a Dustox for the Rock-type gym? That doesn't seem like a good idea. That seems like a terrible idea. I think maybe we pick up you know, I actually don't know. I don't know what we pick up, to be honest. Maybe a fire type? A fire type seems dumb. Maybe a wingull? Is there a wingull we can grab? Ekans! Ekans! Not the Pokemon I was expecting. Probably isn't a wingull. Um, I don't know what Pokemon we are exactly looking for as such. I guess we could try and grab like a Lotad on the next route. That could be good. That could be good. I'm still stuck with a mindset that Pokemon are going to be the same as normal, even though I'm seeing Ekans on Route 103. Obviously, I don't know what Pokemon I can encounter. But I can dream. Wingull is here! Okay, okay. You know what? I think we'll try and catch a Wingull so that we have a water type to start off with. That seems like a plan. That seems like a good plan. Let's scratch it once. It already has a water gun. That's kind of scary. Don't do too much. Six damage. We can take six damage. That's fine. That's fine. 
Um, we don't have a whole bunch of Pokeballs at the moment, so I'm a little bit afraid. We can scratch one more time. We now have speed, which is nice. What again again? Kind of scary. Don't like that, but sure. Does it, does it, it chunks. It chunks a little bit. Let's throw ourselves a Pokeball and hopefully catch ourselves a level 4 Wingull. Obviously, what I said before still stands. Oh. Oh, I thought that was going to be an easy capture. Uh. 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 I obviously can't potion. Am I just running? Do I have to run from a level 4 wing girl? I think I do. Well, that's awkward. Um. Yes, we're healing. Maybe it's worth buying a couple more Pokeballs. That should be something we should do, I suppose. Maybe we'll uh, we'll leave the wing girl for a bit. We'll try and like run through the first route. Come back when we're a little bit of a higher level. We can maybe tank a few water type moves. And then try and catch the wing girl. That might be the better plan. Let's go with that for the time being. First, let's grab some Pokeballs so that I have any, just in case we encounter anything rare. Maybe Ralts is still there. If we encounter a Ralts, I might pick up one of those, as Guard Ball would probably still be pretty good. Pokeballs are 10 Pokeyen. They have made those pretty cheap. They expect me to have no money, don't they? Because I'm going to die all the time. Oh no. I'm buying the Pokeballs while I can. Yep, that's what we're doing. We're buying the Pokeballs while we can. We'll get like... 69, because, you know, we're, we're classy like that. We'll get 69 Pokeballs. That will be perfect. I'm going to set up 64. <laughs> we're going to grab five more. Just because we can. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, am I going to need... Am I going to need Awakenings? Maybe, actually. Yeah. I can't use them in battle, though. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to grab any more just yet. We're not going to grab Awakenings, because I feel like if we're in a situation where we can only use items out of battle anyway, I could just run back to the Pokemon Center in most situations. So, sure, we'll go with that. Route 102, what Pokemon do we have? <gasps> Spoink. Look at that menacing Pokemon. Level 6 wild Pokemon. Okay. Okay. Can't escape. Oh, no, Spoink. Don't do this. Spoink. Spoink! Spoink! Okay, okay, okay. I'm afraid of everything. I will be perfectly honest right now. I am afraid of every possible direction. Um, let's just do the next trainer fight. What could go wrong? Actually, if the wild Pokemon around him are level 6, I mean, he'll probably have level 6, right? We can win a 1v1 level 6. We have speed boost, we we'll speed. We'll be fine. Right? If you have Pokemon with you, you're an official Pokemon trainer, you can't say no to my challenge. How tough are the trainers? Let's find out right now. First trainer of the game, what are they going to do to us? Free Pokemon. Level 6 Sentra. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, I'm so dead. Assist. Swift. That sucks. Ow. 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 That hurts. Um... Can you not get swift? Super Fang. That's not much better. That's worse. That's worse. Oh no. Oh no. Can you like assist something that doesn't do damage? Bite. Can I lift that? Oh. 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 I don't know why I'm saying oh. We're not going to win. He has two Pokemon in the back. Quick attack. I can't say it anymore. I can't say that I haven't wiped it out. That's really awkward. Um, do I lose money still when I faint? Yeah, I lost half my money. Oh my god, that's brutal. That's actually brutal. I need to catch Pokemon. Sunkan, is it your time? Is this your time, Sunkan? It's your time to feed me XP, honestly. I need XP, so sure. Sunkan, you're very good at that. You're very good at feeding me XP. Honestly, we're gonna zoom. We're gonna speed up some fights um, against some Sunkans and get some XP. That seems like the smartest thing we can do right now. Spoink level four. Do we want Spoink? It has confusion. 
It apparently does good damage. Do we want a spike? Maybe. Maybe. I'll think on it. Right now I want a Wingull. I'm gonna grab a Wingull first. I'm gonna keep bopping Pokemon. Um, we've got Ember. We've got Peck at level 6 and Ember at level 7. Do I think I can beat that Sentra and the rest of the Pokemon with Ember? What will he have? Sentra, maybe he has a Wurmple, maybe he has a... Well, he was assisting Super Fang. So maybe a Rattata? Wait, he also assisted Bite. What has Bite that early? I don't know his team, okay? I don't know. You know, I just want a Wingull. Wingull, where are you? I'm gonna keep bopping. Sunkerns. I should have went for Ember, I don't know why I went for Peck. Ledeba! That's a fun Pokemon, actually. Poliwag! Ooh. Ooh. Wingull or Poliwag? Poliwag's probably better, right? Poliwag's definitely better. Alright, Poliwag, I need you. Temporarily, we're gonna run with Poliwag. Don't bop me. You do so much damage to me, Poliwag! You do so much damage! I just have to Pokeball and hope for the best. I just want a backup team member, honestly. Oh my god. Did they lower the catch rates of everything? Oh my god. A rough start. A rough start is what's happening here. We're having a very rough start to this game, because I feel like I chose wrong. I feel like I should not have chosen Torchic. That's my thought process right now. I feel like Torchic sucks. Maybe that's just me? But right now, I'm power leveling a little bit. I'm getting into level 8. Skitty. There, there's a lot of Pokemon here, actually. Alright, Wingo. Do I want a Wingo? No, I want the Poliwag. We're running until we get the Poliwag. There may be a cut here. But it depends on how long it takes to get to the Pokemon. There's the Poliwag. Okay, alright. Poliwag? Listen. It's rematch time, buddy. It is rematch time. I'm gonna scratch you in your face. You're not gonna like it, all right? That's fine, that's fine. That hurts. Why does your water gun do so much damage? Honestly, I think it's better to throw multiple Pokeballs than it is to try and weaken it further. We're gonna throw another Pokeball and hope for the best. Okay, we catch ourselves a Poliwag. There is a little bit of hope in my heart. Just a little bit. There's a little bit of hope. The Tadpole Pokemon. We now have ourselves a water type. We are going to name you, um, Kippa. Maybe just Kip. We're going to call you Kip as your female. And Kippa sounds more male. Um, we're going to call you Kip. And we're going to see how strong our Poliwag is. Hasty nature. I don't dislike that at all. That's fast. That's good. Just water gun. That's all I need. That is all I need, okay? I trust that we can make it through the first trainer battle like this. Yes, there was a Sentra that was level six and it had some strong normal type moves, but we now have fire type stat and a backup Pokemon in the back that is level four. We've got this. We have got this. They clearly expect me to, to like catch a good team and then go into these fights, I think. But that's not how I'm playing at the moment, and that's probably my own fault. I probably should just be taking my time grinding up my Pokemon, but I don't have much time. So, it's awkward, but it's how we're doing this. It's how we're doing this. We're gonna Ember. We have Speed. Burn. I can Dream. Super Fang. Worst possible move it could go for at the start. Because that's gonna halve my HP. That is the worst thing it could have gone for. And it's going to quick attack. Bringing me down to 8 HP on the first fight. Don't have another Sentra. Poochiena. I think we stay in. Has Poochiena had moveset changes? Is it scary now? Or is it just going to howl? Howl could be scary, honestly. We're going to Ember. We have speed, obviously, because the speed boost. That does good damage. Bite scary. But we survive. Does Poochiena have quick attack? No. Okay. 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 Wampel. Zigzagoon. Mmm, that's not a Wampel. That's not a Wampel at all. But we might be okay. What level is it? Six? 
Ember's gonna do good damage. This would be a great time to have Blaze, actually, funnily enough. Ember does good damage. Swift's gonna take us out. Poliwag. <laughs> You've got this, buddy. You've got this. You are the strongest little tadpole. You can wag your tail like the best of them, okay? You water gun him. I hoped we'd outspeed, actually. We can take another one of those, actually. That's good. Oh, and we get a crit water gun. Okay, vengeance. The crit water gun vengeance right there. And we get some XP onto our Poliwag. Some good XP onto Poliwag, actually. Some very good XP onto Poliwag. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what? I think that's where we're wrapping up the first episode. We haven't made a whole lot of progress. In between episodes, I'm probably gonna try and catch a Cyndaquil, actually. Just so we have one. And maybe something else from the top route. Or maybe a Spoink, actually. Maybe I'll catch a level six Spoink uh, instead of a Cyndaquil, and we'll roll with those three for the time being. This game's gonna be rough, okay? This game's gonna be rough. There's gonna be a lot of episodes like this where things go very badly. Um, we're gonna see how it goes, though. If you guys have enjoyed, this episode, and I'm looking forward to a whole bunch of pain and misery from me. Leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!